What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Charlie Mack in the house. Hey, I got a, a short little video for you guys running uh, Illustrator and Graptex Cutting Master 4. Uh, if you guys are getting an error code when you're using, uh, when you're right about to cut and you're using uh, Cut Master 4 and you're getting an error code, which is it's timed out error code and it's been running fine, everything like that, and all of a sudden you're getting this error code. Um, I got the fix for you. All right, so stay tuned, watch the video. All right, you guys, so here I'm running my Mac uh, OS is uh, Catalina. So uh, this boat works both for Windows and Mac. Um, on here, I partitioned both my hard drive, so I'm running Mac and Windows um, off of Bootcamp. So it closes down uh, OS, restarts up in Windows, and then does the same thing. So they're, they're not both running at the same time uh, for speed. So I do recommend if you guys are going to do that and partition and run uh, Windows and Mac that you use boot camp. Uh, I haven't had any issues with it really. So uh, So let's get started here. So so I pull up uh, Adobe Illustrator uh, It might not do it now because I did fix the issue. So but I'll run you guys through what's going on here All right, wait for this to load up So here we go here, got some of the stuff down here. So what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll just open uh, we'll open one here and uh, we'll do what I did for my buddy, his little toy truck. So we'll open up this one and we make this on here. So normally, like I said, once you guys are uh, you have your EPS file or your Illustrator, whatever you got in here, and you're ready for it to cut. Uh, normally, you're going to come up here to File. You're going to go down to Cutting Master 4, uh, which is your plugin. Uh, so once you cut in here, you're going to go to Cut Plot. And normally, what it does is it opens up the Cutting Plug down here, opens up Cutting Master 4, and this is your screen. So what normally what, what's going on, let me close this here, is once you come down to File and you go to Cut and Plot, it would open up the uh, the, the uh, application, but it wouldn't go through. It would give you an error code that said connection timed out, uh, connection to Cutting Master 4 timed out. And I kept getting it and getting it and getting it. And it was annoying to say the least. And um, turn off the plotter here, it's so noisy. So what I did was um, I uninstalled Illustrator, uninstalled Cutting Master 4, um, and the way you do that properly is you're going to go to your uh, finder. You'll go to your applications. On Windows, you go to start. Uh, let's see, start uh, programs um, and stuff like that. I've been off of, of Windows, so sorry if I'm not saying that everything's off right. So anyways, so on Mac, you go here. So you have Illustrator. So I would go here, and you can do the uninstall here. It fully uninstalls everything. And once you do that one. I go down to Cutting Master 4, open this up, and you have the uninstall right here. I would do that as well. Um, and then once you do that, go back to the websites, download them, go into Adobe. Um, I pay monthly for my subscription for Illustrator. So I just, you know, log back in, install, whatever. Once it installed, everything run fine until I, what I've been looking on the forums is that, um, let me quit Illustrator here. Let's click that. Let's go Cutting Master. That's done. So what was going on was um, I was going onto the forums and reading up what's going on. So in Mac OS Catalina, from what I've been hearing is when you come down here and you go to sleep, uh, which I use frequently, I don't shut down the computer all the time. Um, I do though on occasion, but when you would either choose sleep or shut down the uh, program would try to find itself and uh, restart and it, and basically you get the timeout connection uh, whenever you were an illustrator and opened up cutting master four so I you know as men uh, we try to figure out the problem before actually going to where we need to go to so I was looking at forums um, and talking with some of my other buddies that were uh, dealing with 
uh, this issue. Nobody seemed to have an, uh, an answer. So I eventually just did the smart thing at the time once my brain started working right and I called up Graphtech. I didn't call Adobe, I called Graphtech. Um, and right now during this whole pandemic, uh, they're working from home. So you'll get on there, you have to, you have to leave a message, your name, your email, um, and they'll call you back. So I got a call back and they're very good on calling you back that same day. Um, I got a call back and the gentleman that I spoke with told me that the way that you fix it, he's run into this issue plenty of times. So what's going on is you go to your finder, you go to your applications, you go to Cutting Master 4, you go to your preference manager. And right here you have 2020, 2027, 977 factory defaults. So what you want to do is you load, click on your factory defaults and you load it. Make sure that all your programs are closed. Clay Master 4 is closed, Illustrator is closed, um, and you choose your factory defaults. You load it, and it's it's all it's going to do is just load, and then that's it. It's not going to do any type of uh, special, you know, things on the screen or anything. You just do that. Once you do that, you exit out. And when you load back into Cutting Master 4, um, don't don't open up your Illustrator. Open up Cutting Master 4. It's going to have you reinstall your plotter. Um, go ahead and choose your plotter and all that, and that's it. Go in Adobe and go back to your uh, your plugin for the Cutting Master. Once you're all ready to cut and send to the plotter, and everything works. Um, I put it on sleep. I've powered it off, and everything is working fine. Uh, the gentleman at, Illust at uh, GraphTech said that if there was any more issues, to give them a buzz, and they would call me back and figure it out from there. But I haven't had any issues. And I mean, even until they get this thing fully fixed where you don't have to do that. Um, and I don't know if it's just a software issue with the new Catalina or anything. He's just saying that it sort of came back. Uh, this issue, I guess they had it back uh, a couple of years ago. It, it, it stopped and then it came back. So they're still trying to fix things out. Um, but in the meantime, that's what you can do. So if it does pop up again, just go in here instead of having to uninstall things. Go in your Cutting Master 4, so you're going to go to Finder again. We'll do this again. I know some people, if they miss it, um, you open up Finder, go to your Applications, go to Cutting Master 4, open up your Preference Manager, and then where it's Factory Defaults, you know, whatever you choose, uh, you want to choose Factory Defaults and then Import or Load. I'm sorry. You're going to press Load. Once that is, exit out, but make sure, and once again, make sure all these are closed. Uh, your Illustrator or your Cutting Master, make sure they're closed before you load in these defaults. Because if you have anything saved, it erases them um, if, the, if the application is open, um, from what the guy was telling me. So close it, import it, and then you have to open up Cutting Master 4, load in, uh, set up your, your plotter again, and there you go. Problem solved. So I hope this helps you guys. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, drop a comment down below and uh, I'll see if I can get some answers for you guys. If not, definitely call GraphTech, uh, call Illustrator. Um, I know, you know, we don't like to, we try to figure it out ourselves and pass on the knowledge, but hey, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. So that's what it is. Um, so I uh, hope this helps. Uh, drop a like, thumbs up. Uh, I'll be doing some more videos on Illustrator and stuff coming to this. I'm used to running uh, FlexiSign and Gerber Omega. So this is a whole new uh, way of Illustrator and it's a little bit annoying for me. So I'm used to a lot of other different controls, but it is making do. And as I find things out or whatever for the, for the people out there that don't know how to use it or are new, just like me to Illustrator for using it for sign making, um, definitely we can help each other out. All right. Well, until next time, you guys, we'll see you later.